Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple of uh, months since I actually recorded in my office. I couldn't resist this morning for two reasons. First of all, you got to check out my beautiful view. I got this amazing view overlooking the golf course, the ducks, the geese all flying during the winter, and beautiful mountains. You know, the primary reason we do business is, is to have incredible lives and to enjoy all the gifts that God gave us. And the reality is, is we oftentimes forget that. So I'm so grateful this morning for my view in life. The second thing is, is one of the proof cases of zigzag principle was my moms, my super moms. And uh, indeed, after a year of attempting and swinging and missing, they have their first really good hit. Uh, Emily, say hi to Colette. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Colette is uh, running a company called Goldbean Zephyr and uh, indeed have, have had a great little win here. Emily behind the camera there. Say hi, Emily. Hello. <laughs> uh, Emily and Colette are going to be doing interviewing today to assemble a new team for a new project. And uh, they were asking me, what are the key things that we really need to look for as, as we're interviewing and hiring? And they started composing their lists and their questions. And, uh, I, you know, this is an area where I've done pretty good through the years. I've literally hired and fired thousands and thousands of people. But it wasn't until the last year and a half that I really discovered and put in place what I call the three-legged stool of hiring. The three legs are this. Number one, skill. You have to indeed check for skill. And so rather than just talk about skill, actually run through an exercise. Run through a sequence and series of events that they would be doing on a daily basis. Leg number one is skill. But a one-legged stool is pretty wobbly, isn't it? So most people figure out you also have to have a culture fit and a personality fit and have a little bit of mojo in the relationship. So, of course, particularly like in your second interview, you want to be interviewing for culture. But even a two-legged stool is a little bit wobbly, isn't it? So this third key stool is a, a, a concept that I wrote about in ZigZag called the doorman principle or the gatekeeper. And that is a screening for your values. The worst, most difficult hires that I've made in my career were incredibly skilled, sometimes even had culture, but didn't align with the long-term values of the company. When we started doing this, we actually created superstar uh, companies. Uh, this little team that I have outside the door here, Stephen and Matt and Eric, Jared, who's leading the team now, Curtis, uh, we ate our own cooking in the book, and I'm pleased to amount it's probably the most high power, and of course, Emily, Emily, you're behind there, <laughs> uh, the most high power team that I've ever worked with. Landon running the warehouse, Zachariah down there worked with him, everybody focused, everyone contributing, no issues, a total delight to work with. It takes all three levels, not, uh, it takes all three levels, not just two. Skill, number one, culture, number two, and most importantly, is his values. Go forward, get build three-legged stool, not one-legged schools, and uh, hire well.